As above, so below. Water in north central Arizona means water in southern Arizona. Water. Where does it come from? How is it used? What are the challenges? What does the future hold? How do we balance both human use and the healthy environment that is the economic engine of our vital tourist industry in Arizona? How do we sustain this fundamental resource? Let's look at where water comes from. Well, not exactly. It starts here, one drop at a time, seeping into the ground even as it sustains the plants. The river starts below the wide open grasslands of the Verde River watershed in an alluvial catch basin. The water slowly seeps through the pores, the cracks and the fractures of the rocks, filling and forming the underground zone of saturation we know as the Big Chino Aquifer. It provides an important habitat for many species of animals and provides land for homes and ranches and farms. Starting as a series of small springs forming a small lake, it builds into a creek with wild watercress floating gently in the current. These headwater springs are fed from the big and the little Chino aquifers. Without these aquifers, there would be no headwater springs and no Upper Verde River. In one way or another, water is a part of almost everything we do. The main uses of water are for agriculture and rural residents, municipal water systems, and for industry. For a long time, water demand in Arizona has exceeded the reliable supply of surface water. Increased demand has been met by increased pumping of groundwater, which has lowered the water tables and caused wells to go dry. This overpumping of groundwater is now depleting the aquifers. A growing population demands more housing, and our north central Arizona population is expected to nearly double by 2030. Our ranchers and farmers are finding their property values appreciate far more with development uses than their traditional uses. How will the aquifers that are diminishing today supply our exploding population over the next few decades? The Verde River and its tributaries are unique and require an aggressive and innovative approach to stewardship. This wide alluvial catch basin has become today a significantly attractive area for residential and commercial development. As noted, the impact of large-scale development in the region increases demand on the aquifer. Overpumping causes a lowering of the water table, where a drop of as little as 20 feet means the springs that now feed the Upper Verde River will cease flowing. Signs are already appearing which prove this fact. Wells and springs are beginning to dry up. Recreational activities associated with the Verde are disappearing. In no uncertain terms, the death of the Upper Verde River would result in devastating impacts for our state. Other major Arizona rivers have already gone dry. If the Verde is to be saved and water usage in the valley is to be maintained, it must be protected. The hydrological cycle has to be protected if we are to sustain ourselves today and to share water for future generations. The members of the North Central Arizona Regional Watershed Consortium appreciate the opportunity to involve you in an issue that affects everyone, water. Our goals are to foster establishment of regional authority for water planning and management. To see established a legal connection between surface water and groundwater and to see Arizona water law revised to sustain regional watersheds. And to see it be provided that public decision makers connect water availability with land use and approval. There you have it. As above, so below.